Hey you guys, what's going on? So <laughs> I came up here and I, I made a video, I'm sure, separate from this, but while I was making that video, I remembered that I threw this bag in my truck, okay? So I thought, I'm gonna make a separate video. I'm here, why, why can't, is it illegal to make two videos with the same clothes on in the same area? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm gonna do it. So here's the deal. Uh, quick uh, recap, I, it was a Saturday afternoon. You know, it was noon when I left and I just went, I just wanted to take the truck out and go somewhere. And I started going, I kept going and going and going. An hour and a half later, I ended up up here and I didn't bring any food. I didn't eat before. I didn't eat breakfast. I didn't eat lunch. I didn't stop anywhere. So I, all I've had today is a cup of coffee. I always have water in my truck. I usually leave two to three bottles in there. I'll usually bring out a cold bottle with me. So at minimum, four bottles of those 16 ounce bottles of water, usually pretty good. But I didn't bring any food, I didn't eat. But the other day, you know, after I got the truck, I, ha I had made this bag, okay? This is what I call, what'd you call it? It's like, it's an emergency, a just in case bag, an emergency bag. I used to keep this in my work truck because I would drive all over the place. I would drive, you know, talking about starting in California, I would drive to Las Vegas, drive to Phoenix, drive to Texas, drive up to San Francisco. And if you've ever made any of those drives, you know that you break out of the city, you're going across, you know, deserts and stuff like that. So it, you never know, maybe, maybe you get a flat tire, maybe your truck breaks down, you're out in the middle of nowhere. So I put together an emergency bag um, in case something like that happened, even though I always brought food and water on those trips, I'd bring like a little cooler. This always just stayed in there, but here's the crazy thing about it. I made this years ago, probably four years ago, and I don't think I've changed anything out since then. And I haven't looked in it. I don't know what's in it. So this was just sitting in, um, the living room, the hallway, it was just sitting in the house. And I remembered, Oh, I got that bag that I put together. I got in my new truck. Um, I have in the Jeep, it's different. In the Jeep, I don't have a bag. It's all kind of in the Jeep. I've got compartments and the stuff, the kind of stuff that's in here is already, it's always in the Jeep, but it's not in like a bag like this. Once in a while, I think I did throw this in. Long story, super long. I think we should take a look in this to see what's in here uh, to um, see. Okay. so. This bag here, I know a lot of people are interested in bags. So you, if you can see, there's a, a nice big pocket here. It's big and thick. A nice pocket here. You got some side mo, mo, mole, 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 mole. You know, you can put stuff on here. Same on this side. Now, if you're wondering what this bag is, it is, oh, you won't be able to see that tag. You won't be able to see that tag. It's the United States Marine Corps pack, assault pack. So this is with the whole, is it the F-I-L-B-E kit? I think it's called the F-I-L-B-E. It's the whole pack system. This is the assault pack that comes with it. Then you've got the bigger one with the, you know, like the Alice rack on it. And then you've got a bunch of other stuff, but this was the assault pack. So with that kit, you basically got a bunch of different bags. And this is what I'm using it for. So let's take a look and I'm curious what's actually in here. You know, I don't even know. All right, I've got me a, a Mora knife. Nice. This is uh, very good for, um, you know, striking a ferrule rod. So just a little Mora knife. I've got a Surefire flashlight. That's good. I've got a little first aid kit. I'm really curious what's in here. I've got a... Uh, uh, dressing, a sterile wound pack. Usually when I get first aid kits, I'll add to them and, you know, add other things, maybe even outside the pack. So this, this little kit here, this pocket here is for all that. Got some wet ones, wipes in a, in a Ziploc. I've got a lighter and I've got a, uh, a spider co folding knife. See that? Woo, 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 woo. This is, man, I've had this forever. This is the police model. It's all serrated. I had that knife a long time. So I've got a pocket knife and a, and a regular knife in here, lighter, wet wipes. So in this next pocket, what do we got? I've got a platypus water bladder. Okay. 
I've got, oh, so this would be the emergency food. Um, it looks like there's, these are like those uh, millen new millennium bars, like lifeboat rations. They're kind of really hard. Coconut, lime, orange. Looks like there's four of them in here. So I've got some, some kind of food. I've got emergency purified drinking water in these packets. I'm pretty sure I got this from Amazon. Wow, do these have dates? I better check the dates on these things because, like I said, it's been in here for a while. So those, those waters take up a, a fair amount of space. I got some, uh, it's like, a, you know, the glow stick, loom sticks. And then here I've got a life straw that's completely sealed in the bag. So life straw is good, you know, if you need more water plus you can put purified water into this. So that, that's a good, pretty good combo right there. What I have in the big pouch though, so this should be interesting. All right, so I've got a tin there. I've got an SOL Escape bivy. It's a big one, it's good size. You see how big that is? So that would be like a, a bivy, you know, like it's like a sleeping bag cover you could get in. Almost like a space blanket except thicker, more durable, and you can completely get inside it. So I've got a bivy. I've got some black trash bags, you know, the big ones, the thick three mil type. You can use these for a lot of things, cover, all kinds of stuff. Um, I've got a belt in here. I bought this belt and I've never used it. All right, so there was a time I bought one of those food, food, uh, what do they, you know, the food saver things. So in here, it looks like I've got, I can't tell what those, oh, these are like uh, Dickies pants. I've got a t-shirt. I've got a pair of socks and looks like a pair of red underwear in there. So I've got basically a whole set of clothes that are sealed in here. That's, I don't know what I thought of that. Maybe you got wet or something you need to change out. Maybe you just needed fresh clothes. So I got a belt. Looks like I got some gloves. These are Blackhawk kind of assaulter gloves. Got a Shema, you know, the scarf thingies. You know what I mean? These are really handy too, surprisingly. Now, is that everything that's in there? Oh no. Looks like I've got myself uh, a nice military style headlamp that has infrared on it, IR. And I've got two regular emergency blankets in here. This is not a bad little kit. And again, this is one I've been carrying around for four years. Not a bad little kit. That looks like everything that's in a big pouch. Now, what is this? So this is titanium to give me like a pot to boil water in, to cook things in. And it's called, it's from Vargo Titanium called Bot. Bot. So the seal is on the lid, which is good. So when you take it off, you can throw this right in the fire. In here, it looks like I've got fatwood. I've got, it's one of those bear, bear grills ferrule rod. So it's got the ferrule rod and a striker here. Hmm. It's just cheap one that's nice and protected. What else do I have in this little? It's pretty well packed in there. I. This is neat. Uh, I've got a little sog, sog, sog knife. Probably a, one of my old ones I kind of threw in there. So I got one of those emergency bracelets. So it's paracord if you ever need some cordage. I've got some bank line all wrapped up in there. I've got two more space blankets. Some dryer lint. That's obviously for fire starting. And then I've got this Altoids tin. I don't even, I haven't opened this thing in years. Oh, it's actually a... Uh, I don't know if you can see that stuff. 
It's a sewing kit. Well, it's got buttons, a thimble, thread, some bobby pins. This here is actually one of those, what is it, P... It's one of those military can openers, P38. It's got some more bank line. It looks like it's got some, uh, some needles. It's got uh, duct tape. So this probably was a kit. This might have been a kit that I bought, but it's in an Altoids tin. And I've got one of my little Ranger bands around it, which is just like a, a tube of a tire. So all of that stuff in this little thing. And I remember what, how this thing came about. I was wanted to do a challenge with Niels way back in the day in Can We Survive. I would put together a thing like this and I would send it to him and he'd have to go do an overnighter with just this. Just this. Nothing else. Yeah, it didn't ever come to fruition, but uh, I don't know if that would have been possible. It would have been interesting. I mean, maybe, maybe if I could have this and this, like give him at least give him a bivy. That would have been, it would have been a pretty neat little challenge, but that's why I ended up getting everything into this can. What a neat can, perfect size. It's not too big, not too small. You saw how much stuff I had in here. This in itself is a little like really emergency survival thing. You could put, put together something this small with kind of that same stuff I had in there. Throw this underneath the seat in your vehicle. You're good to go. You're good to go. Anyway, I, I don't know how this is going to turn out. I just thought, you know what? I have that bag. I haven't looked in it for years. We're out in the middle of nowhere. I threw it in there specifically to be an emergency bag. Let's take a look through it and make a little video about it. So that's it. I'm out. Whoop.